out there, brace yourselves, because we're about to go there, because <laughs> this woman, we're about to go there because this woman allegedly did. According to the Orange County DA's office, Catherine Q. Becker is accused of cutting off her husband's penis with a knife, uh, taking his penis and throwing it into the garbage disposal. She's been charged with felony torture and aggravated mayhem. Police say Becker attacked him because he filed for divorce. She's being held. She goes, that'll teach him. <laughs> she is being held in a California jail while her husband remains in the hospital. I bet you that those prison guards are wearing one of those, what are those things that footballers <laughs> wear? Those oh, metal oh, cups. Oh, yeah, the, uh, that the athletes wear? Yes, the yes. Jock cups, cups. 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 Yes. yes. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know the circumstances. I don't know why he filed for divorce. I don't know what was going on between them. However, <laughs> I do think it's quite fabulous. I mean... <laughs> whizzing around the disposal. It's like yeah. hysterical. But however, I think I would have just, depending on why she cut it off, I mean, it does depend on the reasons why. Does it? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are okay. Yeah, standards. <laughs> you can what would be an acceptable reason? Oh, I'll, I'll think of one. But I'll just, <laughs> I would have just thrown it in the dog's bowl. <laughs> dog have to suffer. <laughs> chewing on an old bone. <laughs> well, remember the Lorena Bobbitt, the, the Bobbitt case yeah. where Love her. she kind of did that Love first. Her. <laughs> I like candles by her picture. Yeah. You love Bobbitt? <laughs> well, at least she didn't put it in the garbage disposal. So there was a, they went and they found it in a field somewhere right. and they were able to reattach it. But once you put it in the garbage disposal, I guess there's no reattaching that. Well, <laughs> Was she like, oh, I cut it off, but that's not enough. I'm going to throw it in the garbage disposal. And like, then turn it off. She wasn't satisfied by just cutting it off. It's so, you know. I don't know that there's anything that my husband could do to make me that mad, though. Oh, I can think of something. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, like what? <laughs> no, like what? it's actually not funny. I, I just said that to be funny. But Yet you men who were so outraged by this thought it was perfectly okay for Matt Reif to joke about a battered woman. I've only been to Baltimore one time. I ate lunch there, and the hostess who, like, seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. <laughs> a full black eye. And it wasn't like, what happened? Yeah, it was pretty obvious what happened. And we couldn't get over the fact that we're like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is, this is who you have greeting people? And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something where nobody... <laughs> Where nobody has to see her face, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. So, <laughs> so what's the difference? The women from the talk joke about a man having his penis cut off and the audience laugh. And Matt Reif jokes about a woman having a black eye and the audience laugh. What's the difference? Yes, the man and the woman both suffered different things, but it's the same concept. People making jokes about domestic violence victims. So why is this okay, according to you YouTubers, but not this? Do these biased hypocrites think it's less acceptable to joke about male victims? What about all you scumbag men on YouTube who constantly write comments making fun of or outright condoning domestic violence against women? Based on my experience with reading YouTube comments, men are far more likely to mock female victims of domestic violence than women are likely to mock male victims of domestic violence. I have never seen women writing comments joking about men having black eyes, saying men need to know their place or be corrected, or saying domestic violence against men is good. Again, do you ever see women writing these YouTube comments about men? So a few evil scumbag males on YouTube can praise Matt Reif for making his joke about a female domestic violence victim. And you can write your own disgusting comments condoning domestic violence against women. 
you can shut up about that one instance on the talk of women making fun of a male victim. <laughs>